there is a pretty staunch headwind uh, as we head southbound. Uh, we're going to do our best uh, to we'll update you on all that. We'll do our best to get you there. Two hours, 36 minutes. Good afternoon. Welcome aboard. I've been gone for too long in a faraway land, trying to find my way in, searching for where I did belong, coming up with a plan, somewhere I can begin. Oh. Wow, guys. Holy shit. Look at the balcony. Look at the view. Oh my god. Imagine living in it. Wow. Oh, wow. Bedroom number one. Oh my god. Massive closet. Hello. Welcome to Miami. <gasps> Beautiful bathroom. <gasps> Stunning, gorgeous. Another bathroom right here. <gasps> Beautiful. Another bedroom. And a massive closet. Holy guac. Washer dryer. Wow. We just walked like eight minutes to a Publix. Mm -hmm. We'll stock up. Okay, well, got my period for the 500th time. Okay, little haul. We got paper towels, some breakfast bars, tampons, cups, got some drink, some Gatorade, because we're trying to think of future us. We got some salsa and chips. We got sun chips, Oreos. How are we gonna consume all of this in three days? I don't know. <laughs> we got sugar cookie dough. We got ice creams, hot pockets, coffee. I think we did pretty good. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh no. Do what? we not have tape? I brought tape. Okay. I actually brought tape for my makeup, oh but. My God. Oh my Oh my God, good thing I randomly brought this. I don't know how much is left, but I use it for my makeup, for my eyeshadow sometimes. Oh. That's literally why I packed it. But perfect, because we need it, clearly. Yeah. Okay. And over here, we bought cookie dough <laughs> with no baking pans, so. Skillets it is. Oh my god, it's so cute. All right, I brought some stuff too, I'll go grab it. Hello guys, it's been a day. I haven't even done like a proper hello. Welcome back to another vlog. Happy Friday, we're in Miami. We had a pretty good flight, a little bit of shakiness, but not too bad. I started reading the book, The After Series by Anna Todd. Really good so far, I'm like already hooked. We just walked to the grocery store and then Ubered back. We got a ton of snacks and drinks and stuff. And now my sister should be landing within like the hour and be here within the hour-ish, hour and a half-ish. So we're getting set up. We're gonna do all the decor, all the t-shirts and the bags. If you watched my last vlog, I showed that. And we gotta get it moving. So let's do that. I gotta get changed, I gotta freshen up. I need a quick shower, I feel gross from traveling. Got the balloon thing. And then one of my sister's friends isn't landing until later tonight after dinner. So we're just waiting on my sister right now and then her last friend is coming later. And we're off to a good start. This Airbnb is beautiful. of this you guys it, yeah it's i thought i did pretty good yeah. found some inspo online put it with everyone's bag Perfect. it's itinerary all right we're decorated she has landed and she's gonna be here quite soon so we're all taking quick showers gonna get dressed got everything all set up <laughs> it looks so cute in here cookies came out pretty good we're letting them cool and then we're gonna put them on a platter got all the banners she's gonna walk through here perfect let's take a quick body shower need it oh god is this gonna rain on me Design. All right, we're getting dressed. Tonight is pink and orange theme. It's 
So I'm wearing my orange dress. And when I tried it on originally, I did an updo and I just feel like it calls for that because there's so much going on. So I think leaving my hair down is just not it. So I think we're gonna do the updo. I did my makeup in the car on the way to the airport this morning. So I think if we do a little touch up, not too bad. Unless we do like a slick back. No, I like the updo. I feel like that gives it a moment. So I need to add texture spray because I just washed my hair yesterday. Good, okay. Much better, needed some grit. Now can I recreate it? The question, my hair was so dirty when I did it. And I have like no hair, so we have to pull it, make it look bigger than it is. I don't want to redo it 500 times, so. And I have baby hairs that need to be clipped, and I don't think I fucking brought a clip. Oh, sissy. Walking to baggage claim! Ah, my lucky day, I brought a clip. It was just in my travel stuff already. That was just lucky. Molly's washing dishes. My sister's friend Molly, that I came with this morning, is so wholesome. She's a teacher and she's just so sweet. And I hear her washing the dishes that we made the cookies in. That's so cute. Okay, deodorant, perfume, touch up the makeup. We're doing good, six o'clock. Dinner reservations, 7.15. It said the main bedroom, right? Had, try open it. Do you do like regular like pull, like tug? Uh, like, it looks electric. It's plugged in. It's string. Oh, I wonder if there's a button. Whole ass balcony. Well, why did I think our pool? Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. I'm coming. I want to see. Wow, it's beautiful. It's so loungy. Yeah. Wow, this worked out really great, huh? Look at the view. Insane. Wow, the weather is perfect right now too. Yeah, I can't wait for her to get here. <laughs> Perfume of choice is Floral Street by Arizona Bloom. Mm-hmm. Giving night out. Touch up the makeup. Not horrible. I definitely need lipstick. Darken the eyeshadow a little bit. Mm-hmm. All right. I think I'm ready. I'm gonna try to take some pictures outside on the balcony. I'm gonna go see what I can do. BRB. Hey, I'm gonna go get her from downstairs. Guys, we should have went. Okay, you have to hear it. Yes. Double tap. Someone text her say we're coming down. Okay. Ground floor. Thank you. Where's she at? I think it's here. Is it like the mic? What? balcony. Are we sleeping all in the same bed? No, there's another room. Aww. I kind of made a mess already. Sorry. There's a balcony? Yeah. There's one there and there's one in there. Nailed it! <laughs> oh my gosh, Alyssa! There's a pool! Can we yeah. go in the pool? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna change. It's on your itinerary. 
You have to look yeah. at your itinerary. I'll get you one. Oh, yeah, get her one. Let's get her one. Oh, While she's changing. Oh. While you're changing. Okay, read it aloud. Okay. Because you're dancing, are you going to dance? Not like you yeah. just didn't read it. Bring it okay. to the class. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. Dinner at Sexy Fish. Woo! Orange and pink. It's going to be safe. Okay. Saturday, 11 a.m. brunch at Palace Bar and Restaurant. Which is a special a. surprise, or should we tell her? No, don't tell me. I love okay. surprise. Okay, okay. <laughs> The brunch tomorrow was very fun. 3 p.m. relax and get ready for dinner. 7 p.m. dinner at Villa Azur. That sounded so late. <laughs> Sunday, 11 a.m. brunch at Chica. Yeah. Pool day at Airbnb. Ooh. And then dinner at Maui, Miami. Whoa. And then Monday, check out Airbnb. Tomorrow's brunch is like an activity. Is it yeah. a drag queen brunch or something? It, I guessed it. I've always wanted to go to one of those, but I've never gone. I guessed it. Yay! Let me just. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Liz. Okay. When are we going to dance? Are we going to dance? Tonight. Tonight. All the night? restaurants turn into clubes. Every restaurant? Yes. So tonight and tomorrow. And the next yeah. day. Okay, I'm going to get past. But let's go. Okay, wait. Get okay. everyone out. Okay, bye. 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 Look how beautiful. Look at those babies. In Miami. Yes. Sí. Gracias. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. We're late. Hopefully they let us in. This place is sick. Of course, it's your favorite. Come on. Look at this. Stolen from Sexy Fish. How we felt, how we felt I can't wait to get home I can't wait to get home I can't wait to get home Well, dinner was absolutely fabulous Delicious are you enjoying yourself? Yes, I'm Yay! having so much fun. Miami so, is beautiful. Yeah, I told you. I'm a fan. It's so nice. It's like a nice, beautiful strip we're on right now. What are we on? South Main Street? South Miami Avenue. Very, very nice. I like it. That restaurant was really nice. It was expensive, but the bathroom was beautiful. The service was beautiful. The food was delicious. We got free. Good atmosphere. We were gonna try to stay until the music started, but it doesn't start until 10.30. <laughs> so we've got like a good two hours. This is really nice. I told you. Yeah, I like it. Where we are just, we going? We just came across these two men and they put blue bracelets on all of us and said, free admission to the club. But where? Where is Free drinks? Rosario. Rosario's. I don't know where we're going. Oh, 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 where? This is where we died. I don't know what's happening. Oh, it's, it's a dark, it's a dark building. <laughs> Good morning. Last night was so much fun. We ended up back at Sexy Fish. We left 
because the music didn't start until like 10 o'clock. So we went back and it was a lot of fun. We couldn't find any other place to really go out and dance. We had some guys on the shirt hand us bracelets to go get free drinks somewhere and it was definitely like a, you know, like a marketing thing to try to get people in there because it was empty. But tonight we're going to Miami Beach instead of actual Miami and I think that's more of like the party zone. Yeah, but we came back and we ate cookies and chips and we knocked. I had lots of water yesterday and me and some of the girls are about to go to the gym, get a little movement in before we head to our drag queen brunch. My sister's so excited for that. It's gonna be probably one of the best parts of the trip. I wanna do some posting on Instagram too and like recap last night while I'm hopefully like on a treadmill or a bike of some sort. Problem is I didn't bring workout shoes. I only had my Converse, but good enough. All right, we found the fitness center. So many bikes, nice mirror. <laughs> This is perfect. I can get stuff done on my phone while I'm cycling. Feel ready for the day. All right, t-shirts are on. I'm doing denim shorts and doing a quick get ready. Felt so good to work out a little bit. Just a quick little cycle. I'm gonna go to the drag brunch. I'm so excited. Everyone's so excited. And I'm ready for, I'm gonna get like, Love some like French toast. That sounds amazing after drinking last night. And then we're gonna come back and go to the pool and then get ready for dinner and have a nice night. Sounds like the perfect day to me. Let's see what's going on. We should come back so here cute. tonight. We are. We are. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, the restaurant. <laughs> you is, read uh, La Azul. La Azul. so much fun our table kind of sucked it was far back but we had so much fun and when they came over to us and when they were doing their tricks they are so talented oh my god it's insane but we're gone now food was delicious we had mimosas and now we're walking this strip it's beautiful here i think we should have stayed in miami beach instead of miami no son sorry i'm vlogging oh <laughs> No, it's fine. <laughs> I looked at you, that's my fault. Yeah, I think it's more pop in here, but we're gonna come back for dinner too. I think we're gonna go to the pool now, but they have all these little shops and everything. So fun. Hi guys, it's been a minute. Uh, I don't remember the last thing I filmed, to be honest. Uh, the brunch was so much fun. And we went and sat by the pool for a little bit, but the weather was not on our side. It started to get really windy, it started to rain, it was cold. So then we went into like the like the rec room here with like a pool table and just like hung out there, took a chill pill. Now we've just been getting ready for dinner. Took a quick shower, felt gross. And tonight's blue theme, so we're all wearing blue. And I did it because of my sister's favorite color and I told her to wear white, she ended up getting a blue dress and didn't even know that we were doing blue tonight. So I was like, perfect, you can wear that on our blue night. So now we're all wearing blue. I ended up going with the bodysuit that I rented from Newly. Are you, are you vlogging? Yeah. <laughs> Abercrombie jeans. The bodysuit and these Steve Madden heels are just like my go-to because they're high enough to look like nice but still comfortable. They hurt my toe a little bit after like a few hours but they're definitely really comfy. I feel like they go with everything too. And then my hair has been up so I was like I kind of want to wear it down tonight so I did a little like a little bit up in the back just to style it a little bit because it's really messy. It's like not curled, not straightened so we made it work I feel like. I put on like big chunky hoops and I've had this makeup on all day and I'm just gonna keep it because I feel like it's fine, it's simple, and we have to leave soon for the Uber, so that's the fit. And I don't know if your girl can drink again. I'm getting old. And my sister's friends are like 30, 30 something, and they've been drinking all day. They drank last night, they drank at brunch. I'm like, why can't I keep up? <laughs> I'm like about to be 26 and I'm like, I can only go out like one night for the weekend and once like every few weekends. <laughs> 
I can't hang. So I've been drinking water and Gatorade and I'm just like, oh. But yeah, that's the night. And we gotta go actually, so let's go. Super quick, we just got ready for brunch. We're heading down to the Uber. I'm wearing this little top that I rented, a little bandeau, white jeans, and my pinky toe is hurting from those heels I've been wearing, so I went with these booties. And we're going to brunch. We worked out this morning again, I feel amazing. So yeah, we just keep eating. I'm so happy with myself. I had one and a half drinks last night and I went to bed feeling amazing. I woke up feeling amazing. Got on the cycling bike, had a nice shower. Thriving. Music in the air of the night. By the sound of the drums, where the rhythm begun. All right, our brunch was amazing and we were near the design district. There's so many fancy stores over here. Givenchy is somewhere, Gucci. Very bougie shopping. So we're shopping around. All right, we came back after shopping a little bit and we just relaxed in bed and chatted. We needed like a little refresh. So now we just got dressed for dinner. I'm wearing this dress from Revolve and my new Amazon boots. Tonight's theme is black. So we're all dressed in black and so is my sister. And the Uber is about to be here. So we're gonna go out to Mau, Miami. Lego. <laughs> Oh, nice. I'm going in April to Italy for the first time. What? I'm going to Italy in April for the first Where? time. Rome and Amalfi Coast. Yeah, we're fake New York Italians. Yeah, yeah we're well, Italian. I don't say fake because my cousins are in Jersey. They don't speak the good time. We say like calamon, mozzarella. It's calamari. Yeah, we say calamari. Mozzarella. 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 Forget about it. Cheers. Uh, good morning just went to the gym had a nice little cycling sesh and of course our flight is today my voice is gone from yelling <clears throat> and it's beautiful out it's been raining all weekend damn it <laughs> oh we're fogging all right my friend suggested this place so we had to go on the way to the airport i had to fit it in and it worked out perfect because we wanted like a nice little fresh bite before the plane so it's rosetta bakery they have all croissants pizzas sandwiches fresh focaccia bread it's really really cute in here and it worked out so we found this giant table oh my god there's a little wiener dog it's so cute um we found this beautiful big table we could put all our luggages over here I got a focaccia sandwich with prosciutto and arugula, a very Alyssa sandwich, and then pistachio croissant. That's what my friend Sarah recommended. She's like, you have to try it. So I'm so excited. We have some time before our flight, so we're like, oh, let's find like a nearby park. 
so we're walking with all our luggage. Came across some roosters or chickens. Is chickens or roosters? Roosters, look at them, they're digging holes. Look how cute, they're at work. There's some back there too. So cute. Found a little uh, park, Southside Park. We're gonna go sit for a little bit. Look at this one has babies. Shut up. Look how little baby they are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> little chickies. Like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, they're getting worms. Oh yeah. Oh, you have feet, you fast. It's like cats and cat litter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's on a different airline than us. Good morning, happy Tuesday. We are back home. Yesterday was such a long travel day. My voice is gone. <laughs> I feel fine though, but I was just doing a lot of like singing and yelling and having a good time. So my voice is gone, but it's fine. Um, we had to record the podcast today. So you guys are gonna get an episode of me sounding like this. Although I did just wake up. So that's adding to it. Nice and raspy and sexy. <laughs> I felt so much better on that trip, I think because of the warmer weather, because I was a little congested and it like cleared right up. I felt amazing. And then I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh, back to it. But what we did come home to, I have to show you. We got snow. <laughs> it's not that much. I think it was like two to three inches and it's gonna rain. So it's probably gonna turn to slush. But for right now, it looks pretty. It was coming down last night when Zane picked me up. I'm just doing a quick little makeup because I have some things to do today. I just want to be a little bit ready, so I figured I'd chat with you guys and debrief to end off this vlog while I'm getting ready. What did I even capture? I feel like I got most of it. <clears throat> it might be like a good amount of vertical videos because I was filming a lot on my phone. So we'll just do a quick debrief. I will say food was phenomenal. I overall really, really, really liked Miami. I think the main thing that I noticed is everyone was just so kind like everyone we came across was just so nice you make eye contact with someone and they're just like smiling at you i mean i guess coming from new york you know when we got back last night we like grabbed a salad at a place at the airport before we hopped on the train home and she was just like a little sassy and we both were like me and my sister's friend were traveling together and we both were like oh well we're back in new york <laughs> but um yeah everyone was just so kind there and another thing that i really loved it it was like a melting pot. It felt like New York City to me where it was so diverse and so many different types of people and I just love that. So yeah, I think those are like the two main things I really liked there. The weather was absolutely gorgeous. Granted, we got a little bit of rain, but it was just so nice and warm and it felt like good vibes. I love palm trees. But going to Florida, I've really only ever been to like Orlando area, I feel like, to go to like the parks and stuff. And I think Miami is just more my vibe. It was really, really, really nice. Our location for our Airbnb, I'll link it down below for you guys in case you're interested, um, was really good. There were some restaurants that were like five minutes away. Most of them were like a 15 minute drive, so it really wasn't bad. You leave 15 minutes earlier than your dinner reservation. And we were close to everything in Miami, and then we were also close to everything that was in Miami Beach. So I feel like it was a really good location. If you want more like party vibes, I would stay in Miami Beach. I just realized I put tanner on my face last night and I must have slept with my hand on my face. Good. I mean, my hands need to be exfoliated and redone anyway. <laughs> but yeah, if you want more of a party vibe, I would stay in Miami Beach and just be like close to everything because the Ubers do add up. I was looking at my credit card this morning. I'm like, oh, that was a couple hundred dollars in Ubers. And we all like kind of like rotated, like who called them? So it was definitely expensive to get Ubers everywhere. But the most an Uber was, was like 20, 25 bucks. Sometimes if you get lucky, if things are close, it was like a $10 Uber. And I was kind of using this as like a let me see for my bachelorette because I still don't know what I want to do, where I want to go. And as much as I did love Miami, I don't think it would be a place for me because the nightlife, you guys, <laughs> the nightlife didn't start until like 11.30 p.m. And I'm like, I like nightlife, but I'm like more of like a grandma nightlife. So like, can we go to dinner at seven, party for a few hours, and then like go home to the Airbnb, you know? So because of that reason, I'm out. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, actually, I feel like you guys are going to agree with this, but I feel like some of the best parts of, like, a girl's trip is, like, the getting ready at the Airbnb and then, like, the debrief after you get back from the night, and that's, like, some of the best parts, so I'm, like, we don't need to stay out until, like, 2, 3 a.m., like, that's just not really my type of vibe, because I like to be up the next morning and be, like, ready for the day, so, yeah, I think we might do something where the nightlife is just a little bit earlier, because 
all the places I booked I found on TikTok and they were like hype and like the DJ comes out after dinner but we were going to dinners at 7 p.m. and the DJ was not coming in until like 11 or 11.30 so it was kind of like a lull in the middle and we had to find like empty bars and like make our own party and it ended up being fine we had fun but I just didn't realize that so yeah that's definitely something that's not for me but we made the best of it and we had a lot of fun my sister had so much fun and one of her good friends molly that i was traveling with is just so amazing and we bonded so much and we like just were really similar like at all the restaurants we would share our meals and in the mornings we went to the gym together and all the other girls were like absolutely not so it was nice to have someone there that like wanted to have the same like routine as me you know we were on the same drinking schedule too like the first night i had a little bit too much and when i went to bed i was like ooh room is spinning a tad don't like this woke up feeling kind of gross and i was like all right we're gonna switch this up from here on out and so i ended up maxing at two drinks and like we would have like maybe a shot or two um and i drank so much water and i was feeling amazing and i'm like this is it you get a quick drunk you have fun you dance i mean i could literally dance and be crazy and have fun sober so it doesn't matter and then i would feel great going to bed and i would feel great waking up and i was like ready for the next day so i feel like after that first night i found like a good system and i felt so much better the drag brunch was so much fun they are so talented like they're like acrobats i was looking last night on instagram i found some of them they were on like america's got talent and they were doing like the craziest flips and tricks it was so fun the only thing is i would say if you're gonna go there to pass Alice, definitely go before your reservation time because I think we were too close to our reservation time everyone got there early so we were kind of sat in the back and we like really couldn't see it that much so that was kind of a bummer because they kind of perform in the front of the restaurant and we were like all the way in the back so I would say just get there a little early but that whole strip where that uh, bar and restaurant is is so much fun there's like vendors and other restaurants and bars and you know nightlife so that was really fun the one restaurant we weren't a huge fan of was Villa Azor the food was kind of meh and the service was kind of meh so yeah I just really I probably wouldn't go back there last night no not last night our last dinner I think was my favorite it was at Mal Miami service was incredible he gave us free shots the food the sushi was like buttery, it like melted in your mouth. We got a Greek salad and it was so fresh and delicious. The drinks were good and it was just a really nice spot. So that was awesome. Sexy fish was so much fun too. But again, we went for dinner and then we left and then we went back when the nightlife started there because it started so late. But we didn't stay out too late at night. We ended up going back to the Airbnb around like one. Now, honestly, we were sleeping by like one or 1.30. So we would go back at like midnight-ish. 11.30 midnight-ish and everyone else was on the same page too and obviously we were just going off what my sister wanted we were like if you want to go back we'll go back you know so travel home was good but the weather everywhere is just kooky right now even in texas my sister's flight got delayed so many hours poor thing was like sitting at the airport like she didn't even board until like we got home i felt so bad but texas had like sheets of black ice everywhere it was like snowing in texas and it was like happens only like every few years and of course on her day that she's flying home it happened so she got really delayed but she's back home now thankfully our flight was good we were on one of those massive planes that's like three seats four seats three seats and ran into some of you guys so shout out those girls if you're watching they were also on a bachelor trip but live on Long Island. They were like, we've been wanting to like run into you on Long Island, but we're running into you flying home from Miami. They were on the same flight. They were on her bachelor trip in the same weekend. I'm like, oh my God, that is so funny. So we were like chatting for a while and they said, and they just like made my whole day. I was like, thank you for saying hi. It was so sweet. So I feel like that's all the shenanigans. Let me look at like my pictures and videos really quick, see if I'm missing anything because you know, I was really like just having fun in the moment. So I know I didn't like chat with you guys too much, but I tried to capture most of the funsies for you guys. We tried to sit by the pool, but it was like so windy and like not the vibe. It was just like not like hot sunny vibes. I mean, it's like January, but it was still warm. It just wasn't the best weather. The Airbnb that we stayed at had like a rec room with like a pool table and like couches and stuff. So we hung out in there one day before dinner. It was really like chill vibes. We tried to go shopping. I think I filmed that a little bit and we were all just like exhausted and then it started downpouring and then like something was going on and there was like police cars everywhere. And we were like, all right, let's go back to the Airbnb. And we ended up just like sitting on the bed before dinner and just like girl chatting. 
there was another night too where we stayed up just girl chatting until like 1 30 in the morning and like talking about life and like i just feel like that's such a fun part of a girl's trip the bakery that we went to yesterday before the flight was so good and after that we just like sat in a park nearby and just like people watched until we went to the airport so yeah that was our time it was really fun i think my sister had a lot of fun and all the other girls were really happy too they're like thank you so much for like planning all this and finding all these fun spots like they were like, this is so good. So I'm so glad it turned out to be really good. My first batch trip. I've never been on one. I've never planned one. So I feel like I did pretty good. My sister was texting me yesterday. She's like, um, I need a detox now. <laughs> Obviously it was her batch trip. So she definitely went a little harder with drinking and stuff, but she had the time of her life. So that was that. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I'm going to pick up a new one. We're going to be getting our life together. I need to unpack. I need to do laundry. We're getting back into work. I think I'm actually going to a Broadway show tomorrow with my friend. So it's going to be a getting it back together week. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us this weekend. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. I've been gone for too long in a faraway land trying to find my way in. Searching for where I did belong